So you think you might have ADHD? Are the Instagram posts getting a little bit too relatable? Be honest, you can be honest with me, this is a safe space. Hi, my name is Incy, I'm 18 years old and I have ADHD. I'm just built different, my dudes. <laughs> Anyways, these are some things that I didn't know were ADHD related, but they actually are, which make a lot of sense. But I did not know that, so I'm going to tell you so you might know. There was not a logical sentence, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm kind of sick because of the vaccine, of like COVID vaccine. Like, I keep getting cold and warm shakes. Anyways, that is so besides the point. Uh, by all means, this is no way to diagnose yourself. Please go see a professional if you do think you have ADHD, but I think that speaks for itself. So, let's get on with the first thing. The first thing is light sensitivity. I didn't know this was a thing. <laughs> Light sensitivity is a big thing. I did not know this was ADHD related until I start looking it up. Start it looking it up. I'm sorry. Picture this. If this is you, then like, okay, um, strange. That's not neurotypical of you. That's not very neurotypical of you to do when it's getting dark outside. You don't even bother to put the lights on because it's annoying. You don't like the lights. The lights are annoying. Also, scenario two that you might experience. You sit in your room in the morning or something like that when it's not fully light outside or your blinds are closed or something like that and you do not open your blinds. You do not open anything you do to put it on a light because you just focus better in the dark. That's not a normal thing to do, okay? I hate to break it to you. Okay, so I didn't know that was weird for a very long time. I was just sitting in my room in the dark working and then my mom came in and she was like, should I put on a light? And I was like, no, why will you put on a light? <laughs> um, I don't know what point in the video I'm going to show you this clip, but anyways, I forgot that I was wearing this towel on my head the entire time. In the entire video. <laughs> I guess I'm just a style icon like that. I mean, look at this. So stylish. Anyways, I just wanted to tell you that. Um, bye. Okay, so we've got a slight change of location again. Let me talk to you about the second thing. Extreme overstimulation. The thing is, it's a name for something and I did not quite know what it was, but I can explain it to you. Do you know that feeling that when everything around you bothers you, that when even so when someone tries to speak to you, you get so annoyed. You just get overwhelmed and you just want to cry or something like that. And then you just go to your room because it's quiet in your room is there's nothing in your room that can bother you anymore because there are no stimuli here anymore why doesn't my tripod work okay stimuli is the right word okay. again not a very neurotypical thing to do i'm sorry to break it to you but it's not thing number three time blindness uh, i'm sorry i keep risen <laughs> I'm sorry I keep repositioning the camera, but it just, I have to fidget or something like My cat. Okay, so time blindness. Let me explain it to you, okay? Are you always late? Are you always late? What is time even? Like, is it a foreign concept to you? Because it is to me. Like, what is time? What is an hour? What is three hours? I do not know. I really don't know. I need to stop saying like. It's a word that I hate it when YouTubers use it so much. So I'm going to try to stop using it. Picture this. You're just in your room, just somewhere. And you check the time. And then like, no, not like. Like is scrapped out of my vocabulary as of now. Anyways, and you check the time. Like, and you check the time five seconds later or ten seconds later or something like that. You genuinely think that in that time maybe ten minutes could have passed or like a half an hour. Um, because you just genuinely don't know how time works. <laughs> um, also, quick interruption. This is my cat. Say hi. Kind of rude, but okay, go off, I guess. Okay, so, if the following applies to you, yeah, might be kind of strange, okay? Not even gonna lie to you, that's kind of out of the ordinary. <laughs> are you not able to read any books, even books that people say that are so fast-paced and so, like, page-turners or whatever people call it because they go too slow for you? Are they too boring? Is there not enough action? Are people not moving fast enough? Is the plot not moving fast enough? That's a bit strange, my dude. And then you have movies, which the same thing applies to. You can't really watch it because it moves too slow. Like, when is the action starting? We've been watching this movie for three minutes and nothing happened. That's not stimulating enough for you. I'm sorry. At least it isn't for me. I can show you my currently watching on Disney Plus movie list because I do not finish anything. I really don't. And then on the other hand, if you're really good at watching TV shows because they are fast paced, they introduce you to the story within two minutes because they are episodes of 40 minutes in which I have to tell a lot of story things. So they are moving fast paced so tv shows are good to watch movies <laughs> no thank you unless and it brings us to the next point unless you're watching it with someone else of course because they can hold you accountable and they will make sure you watch it let that sink in for a second 
There's this concept called body doubling, which is a very big thing within the ADHD community. I did not know this was an ADHD thing, but that is the thing that you work better when there's just someone else in the room. That person does not have to do any work, does not have to do the same thing as you, and they will still help you focus because they're simply just there. That is called body doubling. And it's not a regular thing. That's what I thought. I thought everyone was like this. <laughs> But no, <laughs> I was wrong. That's why maybe you can watch movies with friends and family because they hold you accountable, even though it doesn't feel like that, but they do do that in your brain. So you can actually finish watching movies because they are there. Is this getting confrontating for you? Is this getting like personal now? <laughs> oh, by the way, talking about the attention span, that's also a thing, but that's like the most common thing. But if you watch videos in like 1.25 speed, all videos on that speed, because otherwise people are talking way too slow for you. So people in videos talk too slow for you, so you adjust the speed. But is it also true that people in your normal life talk way too slow according to you? That's just a sign of impatience. That doesn't mean you're not interested in them. It just means your brain goes very fast and you want people to talk as fast as your brain goes. So that's why. It's not because you're a bad person. Please don't think that of yourself. I thought I was a bad person, but you're not. Let's talk about the next thing. Being bad at listening, but like bad, not really bad, but bad because your brain just wants everything to go very fast. So what I just talked about, wanting people to talk fast, so you want that in your regular life. So you get distracted very easily when people don't talk fast enough, when they don't talk stimulating enough for you. So you get distracted very fast. Or you want to interrupt people because one, you think you know where their story is going to. So you just want to finish it for them because they're talking way too slow. Or two, you want to interrupt them because you think you have something to add to the conversation. You can't really wait your turn. Those are two things that are common in ADHD. People know those symptoms, I feel like, but I'm not quite sure. Also, in conversations, talking about yourself a lot, that's also a thing that people call bad listening. Maybe you talk about yourself a lot because you want to show that you relate to that person. That's a very neurodivergent thing to do. Also, autistic people do the same thing. There's a lot of overlap between autism and ADHD, but um, when you talk a lot about yourself to show that you relate to the person. So they might tell a story and you, instead of asking questions to actually ask about their experience or ask about how it was with them, you start to talk about, oh, I experienced the same thing because I Da, 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 da. People don't like that. Let me let me break it to you. People don't like that and people don't think you're trying to relate to them. Do they, they think you are trying to make this about yourself and I'm sorry. If you have taught yourself not to do it like me, then probably you feel this like insatiable, not insatiable, you feel this tingle inside your body. You're just like, I want to talk about this. Or when you want to interrupt someone and you don't do it because you know that they don't like that. You just get this like restlessness in your body which you show by fidgeting self-stimulating behavior does that sound familiar to you brings us to our next point um that you just fidget a lot and this one is known but it's also when you're in bed and you want to sleep do you keep yourself awake by moving your feet that's not normal if you do that first of all i'm very sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry that happens to you second of all you might want to look for help for that let's get to the next point are you bored like <laughs> i'll just ask you right now how bored are are you right now are you bored all the time and when you're bored is it like physically hurting you or is it just painful to be bored because i've been there i've been there my dudes it's not it's not a fun time i hate being bored and i'm bored so much when you're bored do you pick fights with people just because you need some stimulants, just because you're bored, you just want to have something happen in your life because you're bored of everything being the same. Do you do that? You can be honest. You can be very honest here. I really don't care because I have done it. Have you? It's okay. I forgive you. You're not a bad person. You just might have ADHD. <laughs> This is not like a normal thing. Normal. Suddenly the American accent came out. Okay, so next thing. Thriving in chaos and stressful situations. Can you only... Because... You might make a time planning type of thing for your exams or something like that, but can you only absorb the information that you need to absorb like a day before the exam because of adrenaline? Um, yes, that is an ADHD thing. I'm sorry. Then we're going on to the next thing, giving up on your hobbies after a week. Do you get like a new hobby? You're like, oh my goodness, this is it. This is my hobby. I, this is my passion. This is what I want to do in life. This is what I was made to be. This was what I was born for. This is everything. And you spend money on it. You spend time on it, which you actually should have spent on something else. I don't know. But that passion that you have, your life's mission, it only lasts for a week. Um, after a week, it's not that interesting to you anymore. Like all that money that you put in, no. And then you get a new passion, like, no, this is it 
this is everything and then you do the same thing again and this cycle repeats itself. No, you're not bad at keeping hobbies, but you kind of are though. Or you're a Gemini, that could also be the case. Anyways, you're not alone, so don't worry. You're not bad at finding passions. You're not bad at anything. You're just neurodivergent. I I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not. You're not a bad person for not being able to do that. Okay. Let me let me tell you that. In between all the jokes in the video and me telling you that it's not normal <laughs> to do these things, it's okay. Normal is stupid, anyways. It's not. It's not even there. I'm trying to pet you, but I don't know if you notice. Then we've got our next thing, which is. Oh, this is a very. This is an oddly specific one. Okay, <laughs> taking screenshots of things that you are. No, that's not a logical sentence either. I'm keep trying to make logical sentences, but my. I want to say things way too fast for me to be able to form logical sentences. Taking screenshots of things which you think are important to have in the future, but forgetting them to organize them so you can't find them later because it's just one chaos in your photo roll thing so these photos just lost they're just lost somewhere in the big sea of photos next losing things losing everything uh, maybe you as a person are even lost that's okay you know yeah I think this one is kind of obvious because a lot of people have that but chaos bitch how is your room looking right now let me just so show you something okay this is my room also, you don't have to feel guilty for not cleaning your room. There's this thing called executive dysfunction, which executive dysfunction, laying in your bed, looking at your room, thinking, I need to clean this. I really need to clean this. I need to get up now and clean this. Let's just clean it. Come on, clean it. Get up, clean your room. It's a mess. Don't be lazy. Just get up. But you can't get up. You can't do it. Executive dysfunction. Your room is a mess. Your mind is also a mess. Everything is a mess. The SpongeBob thing where everyone is running and everything's on fire in his head. That's, <laughs> in my opinion, an ADHD room. <laughs> then we've got the next thing. This one might sound very crazy, but I'm just going to say it anyways. Silence is loud. You feel like that as well. Not everyone thinks that. Let me just tell you that. It's not just the thing that nobody says, but everyone thinks. It's not the thing like that, okay? I thought that about a lot of things are on this list. Everyone just did them, but was better at hiding them than me it doesn't work that way what was i talking about oh forgetting your train of thought in middle of a sentence is also a thing um i didn't know if i said that already because for having a shitty short-term memory is also a thing imagine this someone tells you their name and you forget it two seconds later it's not that you're not interested you just forget it because your short-term memory is <laughs> not there you write down everything on your hand don't you is this getting too personal for you you can always just pause the video and come back later if this is getting too personal for you but you know what the truth hurts sometimes what was i what was i talking about really like I'm, I'm serious what was i talking about this is also an oddly specific one but how long do you brush your teeth do you even know because i don't know my family always tells me that i brush my teeth for a very long time and i know why that's because my short-term memory is so bad that i keep forgetting how long i've brushed my teeth already and also time blindness is also a thing so like how long have i brushed my teeth i really don't know have i brushed my teeth for one minute have i brushed it for six minutes i don't know so once i brush my teeth for eight minutes i have two more okay the first one being how bad are you with money every time you go to the store you're like when you're walking there it's like oh my god i need this i need this right now this is the thing that will complete me i need it now and if I don't get it, I'll be very sad. That's not too good for your bank account, is it? I am permanently broke. And the last one that I'm going to tell you about is burnout. Are you burnout out a lot? Like, are you living for vacations because then you can rest a little bit before you go to school again and work yourself to get burned out again? That is called masking and overcompensating for your ADHD symptoms because you just function a little bit different than the rest of the world. So you have a little bit of a harder time concentrating on things you don't like. So then you start masking by overcompensating and fo trying too hard, which costs you a lot more energy than everyone around you, which will get you burned out. Okay, so that was the video. That was it. That were the symptoms I wanted to talk about. <laughs> That's a weird shot. That's a weird weird frame thing um anyways thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy don't forget to give it a like subscribe and like push those buttons i guess if you like the video um also comment something down below like comment what symptoms you relate to what symptoms you don't relate to because a lot of things are also overlapping with autism so also definitely look into that also let me know if there are some symptoms which you looked up which rules or ADHD where you didn't know other people around you didn't know which are a little bit less obvious than the obvious like symptoms that everyone knows if you do relate to a lot of these symptoms it might be helpful to look up a professional to get diagnosed or to just simply talk about it because these things are hard to deal with and you shouldn't deal with that on your own. I will see you in the next video and please be kind and gentle with yourself. I love you and I appreciate you. So peace out.